honestly, I honestly don't know what that was about. I do apologize. I had to kick a bunch of you guys out of here. It was about a hundred and something of y'all in here, but we're back. I just closed the software down and brought it back up, and now it's working. Now it seems to be working, but we are back, and I'm still not prepared because these pants, I feel like they're too hot, and I'm sweating in all the wrong places right now, and I got too many layers on. Anyway, we're back in here. I do apologize for that little mishap. I don't know what was going on. I don't think y'all saw what I saw, but I saw what I saw. Yes, I did fix it, Elizabeth. Thank you. Let me scroll up over here and shout out my folks that's in here. What up, Brandy? Yes, we back. Dollar Silver. You know it. Always up in here. Is that, is that Shelly? Is that how you say it? Ooh, how you say your name? Nayla? Steve, what's going on, my brother? What up, Britt? What up, Miranda? What up, Couch Girl? <laughs> I like that. We is in here, and we're about to get this party started. We're letting the folks climb back in. I do apologize for all those folks that I kicked out. I bet they're like, what the heck going on here? I'm lost. I was here. Now I'm not. Now I'm back. That OCD kicking in. Nah, that, that wasn't me. That was... The software, something was going on. It was it was double screening me. I don't know what what that was about, but we in this thing now. Big baby. Yeah, we about to turn it up in here. We's about to turn it up. Shout out to all my channel members that are up in here. I see it's a bunch of y'all. I hope y'all got the notifications. I put out the notification on YouTube and, and Instagram and TikTok to let everybody know that we're going to be getting started shortly. And here we are. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit late. I'm a little bit late. Um, I was working on some other content. Y'all know I'm going to be out of town for the weekend. So I'm trying to film a bunch of stuff so I can have upload for you guys. I got some stuff going up on the second channel tomorrow, a different perspective. Uh, my Patreon folks, I gave you guys a video today. That took me quite a while to film. And what else? What else I got going on? Yeah, y'all going to get two videos tomorrow and two videos Sunday. And then I'll be back on Monday, uh, Monday evening. So y'all going to get a video late Monday evening. The live stream, obviously. But yeah, oh, so tomorrow's video that's going to be posted on this channel, talk about, I was cracking up watching it <laughs> when I was going back and editing it, which I just got finished doing. Look, I can be hilarious sometimes. I didn't even realize how funny I can be, but I was cracking myself up. Yeah, y'all going to get that tomorrow, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But anyway, what up, AOK -okay Mafia? It's your boy, Arden Kicks, and just like that, we back with another one. It's time to get this party started. It's Friday. I hope you guys had a fantastic week. I hope this is going to be a great start to your weekend. You're just about to chill, relax. You know what I'm saying? I hope you got your snacks. If you don't, go ahead and take the time right now to go get them. You might miss the beginning of this next video when we jump into it. We got Core in here again, another YouTuber. Shout out to you. I saw you up in here yesterday too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. But yeah, like I said, we're about to get this thing started. What up, Desiree? We got our husband and wife moderators in the building, hanging out with us, hanging out with us. They got a, they got another kid on the way. They got a few of them already. Um, them popped out the other. <laughs> but anyway, we about to get this started. This started. This party started. This is my dude, King Frostmare. This video is titled "Scary Videos That You Cannot Unsee Tonight." I'm ready for some of that, baby. Y'all boys and girls ready? Let's go. Hello guys, today it is time to look at some new scary videos again that you hopefully have never seen before. Give it to and me. Now without further ado, let's buckle up and stay frosty. Ooh, we get some new stuff. Give it to me. The following video was posted to the paranormal section by user Lucky1196. The user uploaded this short clip and asked the community, what did I record that night? Is this a ghost or a headless burning man? Maybe a creepy looking mannequin. What is that? He was on a nightly trip with his motorbike and after stopping for a quick break, he took his helmet off and was looking for something in his backpack. Okay. He states that after enabling the flashlight, he also started a video recording, which was accidental. He noticed something really weird in the background when checking the video. What was that? What's that? Look like something hanging from a roof. The heck? Hmm. 
Is that a Halloween decoration? Slow it down, man. They keep repeating it, but I can't see it. Men was sure to have been alone that night at that location. There should have been nobody else there. Yet, a figure can be seen, possibly missing its head. How is this possible? Is it an apparition, perhaps? Or how else could we explain this? I don't know. I can't make out what that is at all. It doesn't look like it's moving. He definitely creeped the man out. Whatever it is, it definitely ain't moving. It could be a Halloween decoration. Ghost boy? The next case was reported by user Marlene Anna White. She states that her apartment seems to be a place of lots of mysterious activity. In her mind, there's no doubt that this place is extremely haunted. Apparently, she's seeing and hearing things in there. Let me see. make her and her child really uneasy. Dang, girl, that ground look wet and you got all sandals. I bet your feet got wet. I bet you caught a cold the next day. Her and her child really uneasy. It all started with inexplicable shadow sightings that were seen at night. But they mostly were seen just for a few seconds before disappearing again. Give One day me. though, while using the bathroom, she was seeing something quite terrifying unfolding right in front of her in the shower. Give a sighting me. that made many believe that her apartment might be haunted by a ghost child. After sharing this incident, people asked if she herself might have lost the child, and this was her reply. Yes, Scott, back in 2013 I was 25 weeks pregnant, he was a stillborn. Oh, whoa, so dang. So, could it be that the spirit of her lost son was visiting her and the family? This is the recording that shook her to the core. This... This, y'all remember, I already debunked this. I already debunked this. Jacob, welcome to the channel. What up, Natalie? Finally here. YouTube had two live streams of the same run. That was that was my fault, actually. I had to make, well, look, let me go back to that. Let me go to my channel right quick and make sure that other one is deleted. Because, wait, what the freak just happened here? Bring the video back. Thank you. Golly. I swear. Yeah, let me go back and delete that other BS before it confuses any more people. Because, truth be told, we should have more people in here. Yeah, it got folks still in that other live. It got a bunch of folks still in that other live. Hold on, let me go and get rid of that mess. For y'all get thrown all the way off. I do be apologizing for that. So now, nobody can see that mess. Good. We out of there. Sorry about that. Yeah, because I'm like, yo, we, we should definitely have way more people in here right now. But, back to this. I only have one baby at my house today. The rest of them are with grandma. You can clearly hear my baby in the living room crying. Nah. I was on the toilet when I felt like something was watching me. I nah, y'all. This is, look, pay attention. If, if it shows the same thing it showed last time. This clip is black and white, and the next clip is color. I've been on edge ever since I took a picture, and my dad was behind me by the door. So I decided to turn the camera on, and record dot this is not my dad. I don't know what it is. Is this a ghost child? It certainly has the height of a child. Who are you? To show her skeptics that it was not one of her own children, her son steps into the shower to showcase that his silhouette looks completely different. Stand in the shower real quick so I can show people something, please. So, if it's not him, who else was it in your opinion? What a spooky recording. Another kid that you had over your house that day and you told to be quiet and stand in the shower? That's who it is. Black and white silhouette, baby. The next recording was sent by Jamie, and it was captured by a man who was living alone in an apartment complex. He shared this encounter on Reddit, which freaked him out quite a bit. So it was said at least. There have been strange incidents taking place over the past several months now. However, nothing that was really worrying for him. 
He started recording these incidents, though, for his video diary, the night in question. It all started with the sink that just turned on by itself. This happened before, but he couldn't capture it on video in the past. But there was something else going on that night. Take a good look. Terrifying face is appearing on the other side of the kitchen window, and when the man checks it one more time, he can't find any trace of it. The face is white, and the eyes are just two black holes. If nobody was pranking him that night, or this occurrence was just edited in, was it a malevolent entity that was visiting? Who can say? The next video was recorded by the security I saw something. I don't know what I saw. Last I can remember, I was scared. That's all I remember. I, I remember being scared. Do I should I go back? Nah, I'm not. I'm not going back. Nope, not me. Nope. Camera of a family in Michigan. Heather and Joseph are parents to. They look familiar. Little baby girl. They have one of their cribs situated in the living room area to keep her close to them. What's strange is that the two believe that their place is haunted. Yeah, we got two new channel members up in here. Big baby! What up, Chris? What up, Carrie? Thank you. Apparently, an entity has already attacked both of them, and even her little toddler, Lily. The young mother even states that one morning, something was grabbing her by the neck after just waking up in her bed. After talking to a paranormal expert who investigated the place, they came up with the conclusion that the former resident of this apartment might still be lingering. He died in there, by the way. One evening, the nanny camera captured the following apparition, walking by the crib. Why y'all laughing at me? What happened? Y'all some fools. You're cracking me up. My face hurts. What's so funny? Stuart, I, I just went to sleep for a little bit, I guess. I don't even know. Uh, What up, Stuart? Good to see you here yet again. Big baby. Crip in the living room. Whoa. Oh, wait. Yeah, we did see this. They gave us a... They did something weird with the the footage though, cause this wasn't the same angle as before. It's like they 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 flipped the footage. I got I caught lacking, Michael, you fool. Are we looking at the former owner here, or what could this mysterious capture mean? Former owner? Why the former owner over there in the, in the kids' room, I guess? Might not be the kid. Maybe they got the crib in the in the bedroom with them. The next video was sent by Simon F. And he told me that he found it on a random red thread. Unfortunately, without writing down the uploader, we are seeing another family home. And another young mother is spending some time with her newborn and her little daughter. And yet again, it is said that the home of this family has some really unusual things happening once in a while. In the following recording, we see the young mother watching television. And her older daughter is about to leave the living room. However, this doesn't go as planned. It's sped out there. Wait, little girl. You see the little girl? She's under me. Fend. Oh! 
Oh, whoa! Her mother is sure that something pushed her forcefully, and the little girl stated that it felt like an ice-cold wall that was hitting her. Strange. Unfortunately, Whoa. it is unknown what exactly caused this wall to appear. Do you have an explanation? That scared the mess out of me, man. Look, kids play too much, man. Nah, 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 nah. Bam! Nah, nah, nah. Look, kids play too much. I used to do stuff like that when I was a kid because I was low to the ground, right? You know what I'm saying? When you're a little kid, like one or two years old, you low to the ground so you can... You could take an L like that and not get hurt, cause you like two feet off the ground. Like you could, that's like if I stack. This is twelve, right? A thirteen, right? That's like if I stack two of these off on, on on like that and just fall over. It's so low to the ground. You ain't gonna get hurt. That little girl just took a flop. She just flopped like that. She did that on purpose. Scared me. I would have been. I would have jumped up if I was the mom. Ah! Tossed my baby, caught it back, and then went over there to go see what was going on with my little girl. Like, girl, what you doing? You play too much. Over there flopping like that. What's this? This ain't no dang old freaking basketball game with LeBron James. This ain't flops. What you doing? Child play too much. Is that name Zara Shima? I think I said it right. What up, King Cole? It's my 49th birthday. Hey, welcome to the live stream, Angel. And happy birthday, sweetheart. We in here. That child scared the mess out of me, man. See, look. Whew. I got to look. When I have kids, I got to. It's been a while. I ain't been around kids in so long. I forget the things that they do. Next is a really unsettling capture that was shared by Untidy Hexagon. He states the following. The story behind this capture is very bizarre. I took it when I was about five or six years old, when we lived in a house that we always thought was extremely haunted. We were seeing shadows, entities move around and hearing things being thrown. It became a normality for us. One late evening, I was sitting on my mom's lap taking pictures of myself. She had one of those big bulky chairs. We Everybody wish Angel a happy birthday. Wish that woman had a birthday for her. She had placed in a corner. Behind the chair was a small space, although not nearly enough space for anyone to fit in. Either way, I was snapped. Hola, big man. I see you. I see a bit, a little bit. I've been seeing you in here a lot. Ping away at her phone, taking pictures. I was using her old Nokia phone, so I had to use the rear camera to take pictures of myself. After taking five pictures of myself in a row, I decided to look through them. However, the third picture was far from funny. I'll never forget the feeling I felt throughout my body. It was like I felt the sudden urge to just run away. Oh! My mom asked me what was wrong. I remember her face when she saw this strange entity as well. Her jaw literally dropped and that's when I knew it was real. I could tell she was trying to keep her cool for my sake, but was really terrified. We looked through the photos together to see if maybe, just maybe, the picture had come from somewhere else. But it hadn't. It was taken right after the other two pictures before it. There was even two last pictures of my silly oh, face. Whoa, after. whoa, whoa, what is this? This picture just came straight up out of nowhere. This man talked about an uh, uh, image and then, chee -chee, I just heard a camera flash and then. Far from f funny. I'll never forget the feeling I felt throughout my body. It was like I felt the sudden urge to just run right away. Right there. Bam! I didn't see that coming. You can't be doing that to a black man like this, popping the jump. Look, I would, if it was in real life, I would have just put my fist to his face. y'all man this thing ain't cheap it gonna break my green screen god dang 
It got a crease in it. It's a big old wrinkle right there. What the what? I can't be playing with y'all folks, man. This ain't even cool. This thing was expensive. This that good quality. So I got a tear in it now. Dang gone it. Who knocked my green screen over? Nah, man. I don't even want to be here no more. All right, it's time to go. What time is it? It's only been 20 minutes. I can't end the live stream. <sighs> you know what? I got to I gotta switch it up. We got to make this a try not to get scared challenge from here on out. Ugh, ugh, I'm a man. Ugh, I can take it. I can take it. Are we, we back? We good? Green screen great? I'm surprised I stood it up in the right spot because one little fold and you'll be able to see what's behind. Okay, we good. We we good, okay. Try not to get scared, challenge. From here on out, okay. I ain't gonna be My scared. My mom asked me what was wrong. I remember her face when she saw this strange entity as well. Her jaw literally dropped, and that's when I knew it was real. I could tell she was trying to keep her cool, for my sake, but was really terrified. We looked through the photos together to see if maybe, just maybe, the picture had come from somewhere else. But it hadn't. It was taken right after the other two pictures before it. There was even two last pictures of my silly face after it. So, what do you guys think? Could they capture something sinister visiting them that evening? Or somebody else from the afterlife? Yeah, Angelica said something that had pushed that baby over. Man, that baby got mushed, cuz. What up, uh, Shelly? We in here, baby. I, I ain't paint my room green. Uh-uh, no. I like my room the way it is. And plus, I don't feel like painting. <laughs> I don't mean any harm. Why does this look familiar? I just heard the noise up here. The next videos were recorded by a couple that also <sighs> documented... Break. They go cash app donations startled me and made me pull a crook in my neck. Ah. 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 I need to use that little brick thing that my chiropractor gave me for my neck. I haven't used it today yet. It's some really terrifying poltergeist activity in their home. After moving in, the channel owners of A Mercade Haunting started filming what they describe as the most bone chilling encounters that they have ever witnessed. Oh crap. Try, this is try not to get scared challenge from here on out. I, I'm I'm gonna not I'm gonna not get scared. Hey y'all, I'm gonna vlog my trip to Miami tomorrow. We got 1800 people in here. Look, nope not me. The rest of them left on the website, not very mendy. Uh, no restock anytime soon. And yeah, new merchandise coming. Hopefully, um, I have it on the website next Friday that these events had a rational explanation at first that something else seemed to have taken hold of their house can you please move something on the shelf but everything that's on the website available now is probably not going to be a restock ever he asked something nah I don't know bro that might have been cap going down Oh, heck no. I don't like stairways, bro. Especially when you just record it and stand at the top. Besides this entity. Oh, wait. There's a light swinging right there. What got the light swinging, man? Somebody pulling the string. You ain't playing with me. Scaring that too. We, 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 we do a try not to get scared challenge no more. I ain't gonna get scared. It also seems to have a disliking for the German Shepherd. Where's your boy? Oh, yeah. I have seen this before. Should we keep watching it? Screw it. What's up? Man, you know it's you know it's something crazy when the German Shepherd gets scared, man. I'm scared of German Shepherds and the dang on dog getting scared. That don't even sound right. What up, Tim? You good? Whoa! I forgot about that. I forgot that was like a speaker or something that fell over. That's messed up. They who playing, man? They pulled a string and tried to hurt this dog. One of the most frightening nights Whoa. shaped out to be the following one. When this poltergeist activity made its way into their kitchen. One night they have kept... 
Who screamed like that? I don't remember that. Should this face-like thing, the reflection of the cabinet door, could this be the entity? Man, that, that looked like a... Another night, the owner heard some strange noises outside his room and snapped this. A shadow entity seems to be standing there. A childlike one, perhaps. Also, could it... it be the reason for all this activity? Who can say? How am I supposed to know that's a child or an entity at all? That could just be a coat hanging on a doorknob. Thank you guys so much for watching. Folks saying I knocked over the green screen. That's a lie. I saw Steve comment. Steve said he did it. I'm gonna put it on. I'm gonna put the blame on Steve. He did it. It wasn't me. Nope. Mm -mm. Not me. Nope. Not me. Mm hmm. -hmm. On to the next video. We just gonna um, cut it. We 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 ain't gonna talk about that no more. You understand me? Good. Got it. Good. On to the next. Next video. Top five ghost videos to cry yourself to sleep. This is a long one, y'all. This is a long one. It's double the length of the last one. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Nooks, baby. How five ghosts call on camera, turning the tables. Let me see it. Paranormal investigators Jordan and Johnny from the YouTube channel Paranormies were contacted about an old abandoned farmhouse that's said to be extremely haunted. Over the last 70 years, the farmhouse in Steinbeck, Canada has been passed from owner to owner under very mysterious circumstances. All right. In fact, it is said that no one has ever lived in the house for more than two or three years. Wow. Rumors began to circulate that the reason that so many people moved from the house was because it was extremely haunted by a demonic presence. New owners claimed to hear unexplained voices and their children woke up screaming, claiming to see the terrifying apparition of what they called, quote, a bad man. And the haunt- I don't like bad men. Oh. King is not just inside the home. Strange dark figures have been seen in the property's barn. The couple who reached out to- See, that's why I couldn't live out there like this. I'm a city boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a southern boy, but I'm a city boy at the same time. I'm not living out there like that with all the- I be scared all the time. I be like, yo, I walk out the door, ain't like, look. Hello? Anybody around? The Paranormies team say that they've seen someone staring at them from outside the window See? on the wow. second floor. I watch too much um, Mr. Balling, and when folks live out in rural places like that, nope, nope. Which is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Eventually, no one wanted to buy this supposedly cursed house, no matter how low the price. The farmhouse has now been abandoned for years. Paranormies team member Jordan sits down in the- That dude was scary looking, it scared me. The home's bathroom to do a sensory deprivation session. So that, that ghost gonna make him boo-boo on that toilet. While team member Johnny asks questions, Jordan will be blindfolded with headphones blocking out all other sound. You don't, you ain't gonna blindfold me. I, I was gonna hit these guys up and say, yo, what's up? You wanna go on a little ghost adventure with me? Nah, not no more. I, you ain't about to blindfold me. Nope, no headphones either. I need my ears to hear my surroundings. Nope, not me. Except what comes through their spirit box. Nope, what happens next shocks them both. Nope. We still playing, trying not to get scared. Remember y'all, y'all gotta play with me. I need y'all street to make me stronger. We got over 2,000 people in here, baby. This camera, this camera. We heard some noises coming from this area while we were Hey, I know, I know that's right, my brother. My, 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 my oh wait, that's Miss Jenkins. Hold on. Yeah, I know that's right. Look, if you if you don't get the notification, just know 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Monday, Friday, we here. They're just setting up the cameras, and it just sounded like he was trying to draw us into this area. So we wanted to do a sensory deprivation here, but we're gonna be doing it a little bit differently. Um, Jordan's gonna be in here, uh, and he's gonna be calling it out, and I'm gonna be wandering around the house so we can kind of just split up and see what we can hear. If you can y'all wait with the cash app donations i appreciate them you know what i'm saying i don't never ask for them but could you please wait until after this clip because I'm, I'm 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 a little i'm a little shook right now Any, anything can make me <gasps> jump you know what i'm saying you're the one who scared um, that couple off can you make a noise for us don't do it don't can do it eat me too or give jordan some answers uh-uh i want to hit i want to hit 
Wait, hold on. <coughs> Jordan, Jordan's behind me. Some just fell. I gotta go back a little bit so y'all can see that mess. Thank you. Or give Jordan some answers. Look, watch. What was that? Was that a light bulb? Jordan heard that mess. Right. He, he, he was like, uh-uh, I gotta pull my hat up. Y'all ain't about to get me caught up in here. I heard something. Did you hear that? What was that? I heard something. Was that a light bulb? It was this light bulb, dude. It was a light bulb. A light bulb. Yo, that's crazy. Yo, that, that slick seems like kind of legit. Did the light bulb just drop like that? That kind of seems legit. That light bulb just, unless they unscrewed it a lot, you know what I'm saying? And it was like teetering and tottering and it was about ready to fall. That's the only other explanation I got. Tyler, mommy, 83, welcome, baby. You in here. Travis, what's going on with you? Home slid and slice. We got a King Cole. Um, shout out to Tommy. Oh my God. Don't know. Thank y'all for the $10 donos. I see him, baby. Not long after Johnny asks for the spirit to make a sound for them, a light bulb mysteriously falls to the floor right outside the bathroom where Jordan is sitting. When slowed down, you can actually see their static camera capture the moment the light bulb falls to the floor. See? No strings attached, too. I can't call Cap. Now, this could just be a very strange coincidence. I doubt it. But what happens next is a lot harder to explain. What? While setting up more static cameras, things take a terrifying turn. Woo! Okay, yeah, so I kind of want to set up a camera in that corner there and i want to set up a camera either in this corner or oh yo this is the same video footage how come every time i see this video there's more to it that i didn't see before i remember this little corner with the little tripod and the little wood chips on the ground but every time they show this i see something i didn't see before Man, these other content creators be, they, they don't be showing everything. Yo, that's crazy. It legit sound like somebody came down them stairs and then ran over to this table. It was like, hey, you blocking the door. I need to flip this table over so I can get through this door. Dude, what was that? And it like ran through this door. And you couldn't even see it. What? Jordan. Jordan. What? Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you? Am I okay? Nobody's gonna ask me if I'm okay? Gosh. Oh, well, I'm alright. I've seen this video a few times before. But yeah, I'm okay. Thank you. Where should we go, dude? I want to get out of here for a minute. Please. A heavy table takes a hard flip over all on its own, and the two investigators are understandably a bit freaked out. But there was something else that happened during this creepy incident. What? Something you might not have even noticed. There's a lot that was going on during the table um, incident that I think was missed. And for me personally, one of the scariest things, aside from the table being flipped, was hearing the footsteps coming down the stairs. <laughs> Stop, stop, stop. Ran down them stairs. Something seems to actually run down the wooden stairs, and a split second later, the table is flipped over violently. Jordan and Johnny take a break before continuing their investigation. Then they head to the farm's barn. Nah, I don't think I'm ready, bro. I don't think I'm ready. I don't, I don't think if I do this, y'all, I'm only doing it once. Y'all better not ask me for another ghost hunt, a ghost adventure. Y'all understand me? Y'all don't get it once. And I hope nothing happens. <laughs> you like, oh man, Artie Kings, this is the worst ghost hunt video ever, man. Nothing even happened. That was so boring. Nothing even happened. Did y'all even go to an actual haunted place? 
look. Leave me alone. <laughs> what up, girl? She done made it in here yet again. It's like her third, fourth day go live stream in a row. A Pisces. A Pisces thing. King Ghost, you're welcome. And thank you for the $20 dono. I appreciate it so much. So freaking much. What up, Carrie? I see you up in here. The two. No rule. What's going on? Guys, question whether the necrophonic spirit box app they're using is actually working. That's what I'm saying. And they get a very spirit box app. The unexpected answer. Is necrophonic real? That sounds like some type of fetish. I'm a necrophonic. necrophonic. Oh no! What was that? Nah, nah, nah. Nope, nope, not me. I'm not going. No more. Count me out. No, uh, nope. I ain't going on no ghost hunt. No ghost adventure. Nobody, nowhere. You can't get me to do it. Can't get me to do it. Nope. Nope, not me. Nope. Something flew across that room. Two things. Immediately, he turned to see what was in there and nothing. Nothing to the right, nothing to the left. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Do I look stupid? Don't think so. I might have been born at night, but not last night. You understand me? Nah, nah. Cut it, clip it, ship it. That's what that was. You throw a box and say yes, you threw a box. Throw a whole box. Said, said... Look. In... Look. Look. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. See, why didn't it show this video clip last time? I don't, I don't remember seeing this last time. How we seen this video like three or four times, but they ain't showing the same stuff all the time, every time. That's messed up. Y'all saw that. That was right there. We got the other wide angle camera, and then we got the camera that's right there in his hand. As it's happening. That was legit. Look. Box thrown across. He goes in there. Looks left to see where it came from or where it went. Look what right. Nobody. That? Nothing. There's nobody or nothing. Look. Nope. Ghosts are real. Ghosts are real. And they mad out here. They're like, yo, why I gotta be a nice ghost? I'm not gonna be a Casper the Friendly ghost. I'm dead. Can't nobody do nothing to me. I'm just gonna be mean and evil out here. I'm a I'm a I'm a bad spirit, cuz. Look at this. Nah, nah. Don't. He said, can you make something else move? He about to get a bottle tossed upside his head. About to be like this. Talk about make something else move. Boy, stop. Better not make nothing else move. This man got a uh, Bam Margera hardogram on the back of his jacket. Giovanna, thank you so much. And, and you're welcome. What appears to be a can and a box are thrown across the barn. Nah. The paranormies guys quickly run over to the back of the nah. barn to investigate. But there's no one there. Nah. The guys have no idea what could have suddenly launched these objects into the air. Soon after, Jordan and Johnny call it a night and end their investigation. But... After uploading their video to YouTube, their viewers were shocked to see something that the paranormies actually missed while exploring the abandoned farm. I bet you folks do be looking at stuff. They'll replay videos and watch them super, super closely, frame by frame, to see if they can catch anything. Take a very close look. What? I'll see it. This place, all the glasses shattered stuff. I'll see that day. I not see it. Oh, so what? It's gotta be that window. I bet you 
Wait, I think we might have seen this part. Something gonna be in this window. That's why I don't understand these freaking YouTubers. We done seen this video, but I did not see that one with the box. Maybe that one, no okay, barn. I'm trying to lie back here. Yo, Johnny. What? Yeah, there's a barn back there. I can't really see it on my camera. Did you see it? No. We, I probably saw it before, but I ain't see it now. What? I was looking hard, Looks too. Looks like a dark hand can be seen. Oh, yeah, the dark hand. I forgot about that. Reaching out from the second floor window. Yeah. This is the same window where the couple claimed that they saw someone looking in at them. Man, that's the darkest hand I've ever seen in my life. So could this be the demonic entity that locals claim haunt the abandoned farmhouse? That was a black hand, bro. Did Jordan and Johnny capture evidence of the paranormal activity that has driven past owners away in only a couple of years? Let me know what you think. Mm -hmm. You can watch this full two-part series and many more. Nah, screw you guys. Ghost lives do not matter after that mess. No, uh-uh. Nope, they don't matter no more. Nope. Only a ghost is going to a hospital in a wheelchair that's trying to get his toe fixed. That's the only ghost that matters. Not ones that's trying to throw boxes at folks and bottles and stuff. Nah, that ghost life don't matter. Gary Investigations, over on the YouTube channel, Paranormies. Someone or something. Paranormal investigators Tarek, Merrick, and Rimsey from the YouTube channel Paranoiacs travel to a remote abandoned house in the middle of nowhere. We got paranormies and we got paranoiacs, okay. In Austria, the structure surrounded by nothing but snow looks like something straight out of a horror movie. In the dead of night, the three friends brace the icy cold weather to explore the creepy building. They quickly realize that they might not be alone. Something is walking right above us. Amy Fudge. Amy Fudge. Amy Fudge. The paranoiac team hears strange sounds, almost like footsteps coming from the second floor, and soon after a heavy door falls over on its own. They question what they might be dealing with, something paranormal or someone up to no good. The three explorers hear more strange sounds coming from upstairs, and they cautiously approach the staircase to check it out. It did not go well. Don't go in there. Shh. Something up there. Don't go inside. Watch out. You got to Oh, shit. As they are debating whether to go upstairs, the decision is made for them as a heavy bed made of straw is thrown down the staircase, blocking their path. The paranoiac team decides that's quite enough of all that, and they just leave the creepy abandoned structure. But once back outside in the freezing snow, they take one last look back at the building. What'd they say that was? What did they say that was? What was that? Look. Look, last I checked, I had enough melanin in my skin to know that I need to get the heck up out of there before whatever that was try to get me. You understand? I don't know what that was. I just know I had to go. I just had to leave. I can't fool with it. No. 
I'm a runner, I'm a track star. I'm a run away when it get crazy. I'm a be gone out of this big daisy. Woo! Nope. Nope, not me. Not me. Y'all think, y'all think, boy, y'all must not know me. Y'all must not know. Uh-uh. Nah, watch. Watch. Well, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. If I do go on the ghost hunt, which I really don't want to, for one, I got to bring my good running shoes. You already know. I, that's the only shoe I'm bringing with me on this trip. <sighs> I'm tired. I don't need to wear nothing else. Got to catch my breath. I was running. I don't need to wear nothing else. Something going to happen, right? The camera going to be on me. Something going to happen down there, right? The camera going to face whatever the noise was and then turn back to me and y'all ain't gonna see me. Folks might be like, oh snap, where A-OK -okay go? Did somebody snatch him up? I'ma call him on the cell phone, like, hey y'all look, I'm outside, I, I had to get up out of there cause uh, I'm not the one, nope. I'm a runner, I'm a track star. <laughs> Yo, who that? Who that though? That's the dude that threw the thing, whatever that was. Look at it. What? It's right there. Get your gun. Get your gun. Yeah, you better leave. Look, yeah, you see, look, y'all don't run this. Y'all don't run this. Y'all scared now. You better go. Don't come back now. Don't you come back. That's right, Miss Pisces. You didn't. Know. I was on the track team. I used to do the shot put in the discus because I was a big boy because you know I couldn't I wasn't a runner like a, like that back then but you know things are things are different now. Be seen from one of the upstairs windows. The investigators believe the entity to possibly be a gin. Shout out to Travis Barnes. He done came up in here and upgraded his membership. He's now an elite member. When I get back next week, y'all be ready for this live stream y'all about to get from my members. Oh! Might do something scary, you know what I'm saying? That only the live stream, the live members, the channel members can get. Yeah, I got energy all of a sudden. We got 2,700 people up in here. But what do you think? Were the investigators dealing with a dark presence? Is it a homeless oh, squatter who there was you go. Was defending that? his territory? What's that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Who the heck was strong enough to just throw that like it was a piece of paper? Like a balled up piece of paper. What is that? It's like a sofa. A bed? That's a... Ew. I ain't never seen a bed with the legs attached to the um the bottom frame like that. The box frame. Or is it all just an elaborate hope? Yeah, they might be capping. They might be capping. But they did, they did a phenomenal job of making this video look interesting you know what i'm saying see that's why i can't fool with folks i don't know because they might try to set up a scenario to scare me i'm like look you did a great job i ran on the first incident and now i'm not coming back in there so look you, that's what you get for you for trying to set up a fake scenario with your boy Artie kicks you don't you don't try to fake the real you know what i'm saying don't look i can't play with folks nope you just that's why i'm going with my friends so we don't Nobody try to get nobody like that. Nope. Side. You can watch this full video and many more creepy nope. explorations over on the YouTube channel, Paranoiacs. Oh, no, I don't need to see no more. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five, or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great, contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The Ghosts of Petworth Chapel. Yeah, keep on. If y'all got any paranormal videos, send them to my boy Nukes. You know what I'm talking about? Send it to my boy Nukes so he can make the dope compilation and then we watch it. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations travel to the abandoned Petworth Chapel in a small village in Sussex, England. In World War II, a German air raid hit a nearby boys' school and 28 children tragically lost their lives. Oh, they no. were laid to rest in the chapel cemetery. Cut to present day. 
Locals and visitors to Petworth Chapel say that they have seen and heard the apparitions of children playing in the cemetery. Oh, really? And there is even said to be another ghost haunting the chapel. As many believe that the spirit of the cemetery's loyal longtime groundskeeper. I swear I just heard like some thuds, like, but a lot deeper. Still haunts the property. So, as Ghost Tape begins their paranormal investigation late one night, team member Phil experiences something that he just can't explain. Team member Phil would be the one to experience something he can't explain. Felicia, what up? You done became a channel member. Thank you, sweetheart. Bella, finally caught a live stream. Shout out to everybody that's in here for the first time tonight. We love you. Someone just pulled my jacket. Did they now? That's messed up. I'd be scared. No. Yeah. I wonder why you moved a bit quick then. Phil says he feels something tug at his jacket. Nah. Now, chilling as that might be, unfortunately, the static camera doesn't capture the creep. Exactly. That was all in his head. That was all in his head. Didn't nothing touch his jacket. He pooed it, and the air that came out his booty blew the jacket. That's what it was. The event. But later, he did a solid thriller. <laughs> into the investigation, when the Ghost Tech team are inside the Petworth Chapel, Jeff takes a few photos, and what he captures is downright chilling. What? The man taking selfies? Oh, snap! That was strange. That one was all blurred. Oh, snap! Oh, snap! It's about to get you. you. He just standing there taking the pictures. He see the stuff coming up on the little screen. He ain't gonna tell the dang old man to move, yo. It's something next to you. Run! No. See, I can't. I can't. Nah. I ain't hanging out with them either. Nope. Don't move, Phil. Something's not right. Take another picture. Be dead. Watch. Ghost gonna takes be, a picture. Ghost gonna be like this, wrapped around him, man. Something not right? You right. You're a horrible friend. Tell this man to run. Look, now. See, look. I'm, I'm, let's say that it was me, right? That was me taking the pictures of one of my buddies, right? My buddy's standing right there. I'm taking a picture. A little entity, a black figure, appears right next to him. One of two things are going to happen. I'm either going to tell him to run or I'm going to run. And if I run, he's going to run because the heat is going to be black like me. And if he's not black, then I'm I'm going to run and I'm going to be like, run while I'm running. You know what I'm saying? Because if he, I'm going to tell you right now, if he black, I ain't got to tell him to run. Female or male. If they see me run, they run it too. Simple as that. But anybody else. Run! I'm telling them. I'm like, nah. I can't believe this fool just... He just gonna keep snapping pictures. He wanna see what's gonna happen next. He was like, I, it might get him. I mean, let me see if it's gonna get him. That's gonna make for some dope content. Phil, and at first, everything seems normal. Nothing out of the ordinary. But then, a dark mass seems to rise right up out of the ground next to Phil, seemingly reaching out to him. So is it possible that Ghost Tech captured one of the spirits still restlessly wandering the cemetery grounds? Did whatever it was that tugged on Phil's jacket follow him into the chapel? You decide. You can watch this full video and many more investigations of tragic and chilling hauntings over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. And still, really haunted. I featured the YouTube channel Really Haunted many times before, and for good reason. Hey, moderator Desiree, uh, check your email when you get a chance. I emailed you the other day. Oh, I remember this one. I'm going to let y'all click the link down in the description box below if y'all want to check out this video for yourself.
We've seen this one already. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Ooh, some TikTok stuff. It's been a while. A bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange, unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. At first, he just used the TikTok filter reality ripple effect, which allegedly shows ghosts all around you. Detectar las las ondas de calor y estoy acá en el cementerio. Que se aparece la del cementerio. La concha de su madre, ¿qué fue? Se aparece la puta que te parió. Yo, some sitting over there, bro. This man that pulled up to the cemetery and something has decided to sit in the seat. La puta que te parió. <laughs> Yo, I just heard a voice. Hello? Anybody there? I know I just heard a voice. Anyway, I was about to laugh at this man because he's like, ring the bell. He's telling the ghost to ring the bell. Next stop, please. Ding, ding. Dale, toca timbre. Go ahead and ring. Now, it was enough to freak him out and also some of his more superstitious friends. It does seem to be something standing there, though. Even in the daytime. But after he had recorded using the app for a couple of weeks, he says that he had a much more serious encounter when the bus was stopped at the graveyard. An experience that chilled him to his core. No mames. La quinta parte. Vamos a ver si hoy captamos algo. Oh, la puta que le parió. ¿Qué fue eso? Pareciera como que me cerraron la una ventana. La puta madre. Hey, hey, watch your language. Watch your language. Watch your language. Concha su madre. It's a family channel. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Argentinian bus driver now seems to have stopped his late night graveyard bus recordings completely. He hasn't recorded any ghost encounters since this last video. TikTok user Dad says, Nah, it's... nah, hold on. I gotta go back. Supposedly, there's something new in this video clip here. So we, we'll check it out. We'll check it out. YouTuber Lee has uploaded some truly bizarre videos of an ongoing poltergeist haunting that he says is occurring in his home in England. Yeah, I definitely didn't see that last time. That looks so dope. That was one of the dopest. I don't care if that was fake. That was one of the dopest things I've ever seen. Something looked like it comes up 
I almost wouldn't even know if I would call this ghost or, or entity. I would call that alien. I don't know. Leave me alone. I'm stupid. But look, something flies up in like an orb, and then it throws itself at this chair, and the chair flips and stands back up. Oh, and it fell back down, too. That was dope. What up, Lorraine? Six six. Glad you up in here. Now, Thanks. if you're a regular, thanks for hanging out. Welcome to your first live stream with his big baby. What up, Davidson? Shout out to you. Welcome, new channel member, baby. For watcher of this channel, you know I'm not much of a believer in orbs. I think they're usually bugs or dust. Yeah. But in this case, if you watch closely, you can actually see some sort of orb appear for a split second on screen near yeah. the chair right before it violently flips over and breaks into pieces. And amazingly, check out the doggo on the couch. He's not even bothered at all. Crazy. But maybe living in this house, he's just used to it. Crazy, the dog didn't even flinch, man. What the what? But cut to another night and Lee is fast asleep in bed. And then this happens. Bro, hold on, hold on. I keep hearing stuff, man. I don't like this. Not one bit. Who gonna clean up this mess? Who gonna clean that up right there? I have to kick a ghost out after this. You gonna make a mess in my house? You gotta go. Make a mess at my house, ghost. You gotta go. No, I ain't a Pisces. You're heavy, though. Uh-uh, why you over here talking to Pisces thing? I had you come over here cleaning it up. I ain't cleaned up. Being footsteps on the floor. And then the nightstand suddenly flips over on its own. And nah. then something sets off the downstairs nah. burglar alarm. Nah. But when Lee checks, there's no one in the house. I'm kicking that ghost out tonight. Nope. Lee says that the paranormal activity in this home has gotten so bad that lately his wife and kids have been sleeping in a camper parked outside the house. You can watch more of the crazy paranormal activity that Lee has recorded in his house over on his YouTube channel. Really? haunted meanwhile oh. see what I tell y'all what did I tell y'all just like that um Mr. Balling live stream we did last night what them folks do what that family did when they realized their house was haunted that they were leasing or renting or whatever it was they got the heck up out of there why could they were black folks see his wife and the kids they smart he Gonna stay up in there. I don't see how you can do it. First sign, first night, there's some mess going on in my house. I know I'm hearing stuff. That's just me. I'm just crazy. But when I can see some stuff happening, or it's like some stuff falling over, stuff being thrown, stuff out of place where I didn't put it at, I ain't had none of that experience yet. But when it happens, if it happens, it better not happen. I'm out of there. You understand me? I'm gone. Now, nah. what I look like? No, you know what I mean. TikTok. 
a bus driver in Argentina claims that whenever he reaches the end of his bus route, which happens to be an old graveyard, that he always experiences strange unexplained occurrences that he believes to be paranormal. Tell me about it. So he started recording his experiences each time he reached the graveyard and posting them to TikTok. Oh, I was wondering. I'm like, hold on. I feel like I just saw this. Yes, we did see that. I forgot we went back a little bit. My bad. Okay, we got a little, another little tickety tockety video. Okay. Hello. Dang, how did I fast forward that much? Okay. Video. TikTok user Dad Sass says that she and her sister have been experiencing. This girl, TikTok. T this girl's TikTok name is. Why? Why? Okay. Okay, we just. We dad's heirs today, I guess. Okay. Um, Y'all, we got 3,200 people in the live stream. Big baby. Let's watch dad's hair. I've seen some strange paranormal phenomena in their home. One night when her sister is sleeping, their CCTV camera captures something truly bizarre. So we've been home from the hospital for a while because our kids have what RSV. And uh, thank God I have cameras because my sister was sleeping and we caught this bull. My sister was sleeping. Wait, wait, I'm not ready. I'm trying to share a little tickety, I mean, a little Instagram story letting them know we got 3,200 people in here, big baby. Make sure you follow your boy on Instagram. If you on Instagram, you should be following your boy on Instagram. Like, what? What? The cover got just pulled up off of her or him, whoever that is. That's messed up. Nah, the ghost cold. The ghost is like, give me some cover too. Golly. Ho over here hogging all the cover. Look, ghost, ghost lives matter too. If the ghost is cold, I mean, dang, share some cover. Golly. I mean, I let a ghost have some of my cover. Ain't no problem because I don't really like too much cover unless I'm real, real cold. If I'm real glow, I'm like, I love some cover. If I'm real, real, if I'm real, real cold, I love some cover. But usually I be spread all out on the bed like this, no cover because I like to be cool. I don't like to be hot unless it's freezing. So I would share some cover with a ghost, you know? That's why you got woke up. Oh, look. See, that's why you got woke up, because you didn't share no cover. Done ripped it off the bed now. Bet you won't go down there and get it. So you got some more cover right there next to you. You just use that. Just use that. I'm not going down. I'm not looking on the other side of the bed, because I'm going I'm to hide underneath the cover, because nah, not me. No. Get get up. See, you got a whole long sleeve. She had a whole jacket on and everything. You just hogging all the cover. What you need that much cover for? See, the ghost was mad. Like, you got a jacket on, woman. And pants. You. Nah. Says that they have no pets in the house that could have pulled off the blanket. So I'm not sure what caused this. Zoop. At that moment, I would have screamed. So, uh, let me know what you think. Thanks. Oh, she didn't have pants on. So much for watching Instagram here. We got one more video. We got one more video. Give me some cover. That's a Pisces thing right there. Look, Pisces love them covers, man. They love some covers. Giovanni. What's up, man? New kid here to the channel. First time on a lot. We got a lot of first timers up in here. We got a lot of first timers. Shout out to everybody that's in here for the first time. Thirty two hundred strong. He's you say your category. You say your son be hogging the cover. Look, if you like me, it's okay. He can take all the cover you want. But we got one more video. Like I said, you understand me? Understood? Good. This next video. Five scary videos you should not watch before bedtime. Good thing I ain't going to sleep no time soon because I got a bunch of other videos to edit for while I'm out of town this weekend and then I got to wake up early, early in the morning because I got orders to get out the door for you guys. And I see some of them coming in. I'm going to shout you guys out at the end of this live stream. Big baby. Y'all ready? I'm ready. Again, this is five scary videos you should not watch before bedtime. 
Whew, y'all, I'm tired. What? Why am I so tired? I feel like not tired, like sleepy tired. I'm, I'm coffee keeping me up, but I'm tired, like I done ran a mile. I'm a runner. I'm a track star. Sir Spooks, it's my guy. Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five scary videos you should not watch before bedtime. Too late. Today's sponsor is Wicked Clothes. Ooh, Wicked Clothes. Wait, no, I can't. Oh, those are nice. Ooh. Ooh, he got a discount code for them too. Yeah, I should go check that out for sure. Ooh, they cheap. Over on the subreddit, unexplained photos. Let me see. Reddit it. username Blackbird9251 shared a creepy video and is asking for any help on what could have possibly caused the events in the video to happen. The uploader thankfully provides us with a bit of context, saying, I got this from my girlfriend today. This footage is from her cousin's workshop. I uploaded what I got, but the activity happens right after the two minute mark and right at the end. So, what kind of activity is Blackbird talking about? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Let me see. Don't scare me now. Not the banjo. Why is it hanging like that? That's a ghost. That gotta be a ghost. Ghosts are real, y'all. I already told y'all they real. I seen it for my own eyes right here on this video. No, the last video. Look at that. Oh, and it's down. And it fell over. I'm surprised it didn't I'm surprised it didn't break. That thing looked like it was as thin as cardboard or something. You is indeed real. Then I have no idea. Cha -cha. Cha -cha. Welcome to the channel, baby girl. Yeah, what could have caused this ukulele to move around all on its own like that? Shout out to Matt Smith. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you being here. Thank you for the comment and for the $25 dono. Because the manner in which it moved was incredibly unnatural, understandably causing some to believe it was being moved by a spirit. The cousin who owns the workshop said that the shop alarm went off three times in the middle of the night. But every time he checked the footage, nobody was there. But when he checked the footage, this is what he saw captured on the tape. That's mad weird, man. That's mad weird. <laughs> So, what was moving this ukulele? I'm curious to hear your thoughts in oh. the comments. What did I call it? A banjo? Ukulele. My fault. Same difference, I guess. Maybe I'm wrong. Candy Girl, you're doing a lot tonight. You're doing a whole lot. Writing an essay, watching A-OK, -okay, and sipping some wine. Let me get a sip, though. I'm just glad it didn't break. I think that thing was trying to break that banjo, ukulele, whatever it is. Dominic Matikian posted a video to his TikTok account, which seemingly just shows him relaxing in his bed mm. and unwinding for the day. For sure. But as you will soon find out, this day was anything but relaxing for Dominic. Let me find out. While he's laying down, he hears something both disturbing and also plain annoying for anybody that is trying to get some rest. This this looks a little bit familiar, but I could be wrong. After a long day at work. Something in my eye, y'all. I think a ghost is trying to get me to close my eyes so without further ado let's have a listen and see what is bothering him let me see it so it's literally three in the afternoon and it's been happening more during the day and it's just not even scary it's just it's really just annoying at this point are you kidding me Didn't nothing look cap about that. What? This man over here, like, oh my god, it's literally like three, and this, this is just getting annoying at this point. What? That banging was so loud. It looked, it sounded like they were trying to tear the door off the hinges. Are you serious? And he opens the door and it stops immediately, and there's nobody there. This is what I'm talking about. He, 
black people move like that Usain Bolt runners track stars If you can't take it no more, get the heck up out of there. What's wrong with you? With banging noises on the door that loud, you would suspect that there obviously has to be somebody behind the door knocking that much. But as you can see, there was nobody behind Dominic's door. Or maybe the video had a clever cut somewhere. Or a friend of his behind the door managed to quickly hide before Dominic opened the door completely. Well, he had it. What though. do you think was causing these loud banging noises? I see what he could have hit. Be sure it. to let me know all of your theories in the comment section. All right, you want me to try to come up with a logical theory? Here's one. Here's one. Here goes one. Open the. His friend could be posted up up here in this window sill. He his friend could have like reached over. Hanging from out the window and like beating on the door. Douche, douche, douche from up here. So when he comes out, he makes sure not to record too much of this window. That's to the left right here. If there's a window there, it might not be a window there. Don't completely. What do you think? Nah, I thought there was like a whole banister or something like a. But no, now that I see up against the wall, it's so thin. So that disproved my own theory. Scratch that. What do you think was causing these loud banging noises? I don't you know. Let me know all of your theories in the comment section. But I wouldn't live there no more. We saw this already today. An Arab YouTuber is doing an outdoor exploration of a creepy looking area in the middle of the night, presumably looking for something of interest to show his subscribers. For the first 20 minutes or so of the exploration, the man is unable to find anything of real interest. The area that he's looking around seems to be as quiet as can be, seeing as how it is in the middle of the night and there aren't any cars or pedestrians walking by, which makes sense. What up, um, it's Matt Rowley, Rowley, but uh, thank you for the donation, brother. Um, it should be somewhere at the bottom where you can click on to become a channel member, and if you click on one of my most recent uploads on YouTube, that's not a live stream, uh, one of the top links will um, direct you there. YouTube just automatically put that in there. But towards the end of the video, the uploader finds something truly horrifying. That I'm sure he wasn't expecting. Let me see it. Hey, you want to lie you? Hey, you, you. What that is? What that is? Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Oh, hey, nah, hold on. I, I got to pause for a second. That's a whole fool up there. Y'all, we got, we got, we got almost 3,500 people up in the bar. I had to get on Instagram and let the folks know we deep tonight, baby. That looks like a whole something with some red eyes. It ain't moving. Yo, that joke look mad creepy. Yo. Yo. Oh, it's moving. Is that a... Is, it looked almost like a woman. Yo, she about to cast a spell on y'all fools. Y'all just gonna stand there and let it happen. She raising her stick up. She gonna be like, Staliosius. I would have been so far gone. This is like with Dragon Ball Z when somebody's sitting there and they're trying to charge up their attack. Ka me ha on the first ka. I'm gone. I'm pew. I'm about to 
teleport somewhere else. Because you ain't about to hit me with whatever you trying to charge up. No, no. Look at, look, they just gonna stand there. You know how far they could have been gone away from this this area if they would have dipped as soon as she started to raise her arm up. Uh, look, I'm not going with any of these content creators that make these type of videos because they all foolish in my opinion. They all foolish. If we you know, look at this man. I could have been on the other side of the planet by now. Yeah, I love she did all that just to drop the mic. Just drop the mic. I'm not sorry to. My good bitch, then. Yeah, boy, you know. لا يا عم شنو؟ عم عيش بعشا بعشا الغاي يا الله ما لحقتش يا زلمة شي قاوم Although most people would run and flee from the scene as soon as they saw this creep Most people? Ah shit, I would hope so, Sir Spooks cause uh, these people ain't Keep you looking fake here This YouTuber proceeds to shine a flashlight on the figure and its glowing red eyes for quite some time and the figure seemingly looks at the camera the entire I I'm out the time the first time I watched this video I fully expected this entity to come chasing after the youtuber but it never does it merely stands up top of the cliff and never does anything to harm the uploader even still though I would like to think that if you stumbled upon this figure in the middle of the night you would not only run home, but you'd probably have nightmares for weeks. The Paranormies are quickly rising YouTube channel and it's not hard to see why so many people are starting to catch on to their videos. This is facts. They often upload interesting and creepy exploration style videos, as well as other chilling paranormal related content to scratch your horror itch. In this video, the group are venturing out to a terrifying ghost motel located near East Brain Tree in southeastern Manitoba. Okay, I was wondering, I was like, we already watched a Paranormies video earlier. I was wondering if this is going to be the same one or not. I don't believe it is. A couple of minutes into the video, the group are situated in a small room, getting equipment ready and making an attempt to contact the dead. Not too long into the attempt, this happens. The same voice that they won't leave. <coughs> you see, that's why I can't I can't play with the paranormies, man. Cause look, if something drops or anything happen. You see how long it took them to take them blindfolds off? They gonna get got before they even take the blindfolds off. They gonna be over here like this. Who's that? I can't, I can't play with them. I can't even, nah. See, that's why y'all need them blindfolds on. Get up out of there. Get up gone. Quick as you can. Leave it alone. A couple of minutes later, they start to explore the kitchen area of the motel, which Shit. looks surprisingly intact despite a little bit of a mess. But while exploring, 
two creepy things happen that are completely unexplainable. Okay, thank you. Can you tell us on the ovulus what your name is? That was me. Warm? Warm. Are we getting warmer? It may have been a little hard to hear, but what sounds like an entity says the word warm on the ovulus device after one of the crew members asks what its name is. But that was not the only time in the video in which something chilling happens with the ovulus device. A little while later into their investigation, this can be heard. TVs by now. Wonder if that bush cam is catching anything. Jaden. Are you sure that sound like Jaden? Jaden, right before that happened. I'm in the video in which something chilling happens with the ovulus device. A little while later into their investigation, this can be heard. TVs by now. Wonder if that bush cam is catching anything. Jaden. That sound all sound like Jaden. Whoa. Said Jaden right before that happened. The third. My knees are shaking. Holy shit, dude. I know that this building's falling apart, but that still doesn't make sense. At this point, they are probably getting a little unsettled by everything going on, but nevertheless, they move into one of the bedrooms to take a look. While inside, they spot something both fascinating and creepy on one of the windows. I'm gonna stop the handprint on the window. Whoa, that's creepy. Like something was dragged. It does look like that. Yeah, it looks like, yeah. It don't look dragged to me, really. It just looked like a flat right on the window. That's messed up, man. A couple of minutes later, while they are looking into the bathrooms, something else catches their attention. Take a look at this. You hear that? That's Lorraine. That's Lorraine. Yeah, uh, hey, you might be right, Miss Pisces. You might be right. Lorraine. This is the first real time that we heard Lorraine going off when we weren't in the same room. There's been moments like Hangman's Church where we are 100 feet away and she'd gone off, but we strongly believe at this point that she's going off due to our flashlights. This time is a lot different. Also, another thing to note on is that my phone died almost immediately after Lorraine went off when we were in the other room. we have been changing out batteries and I had pockets full of batteries all night that we were changing with cameras, flashlights, even the big light that we had that's supposed to run for eight hours died in about two and a half hours. Whoa. Is that us this time? That was that would have been me. They ain't gonna After this, it seems like the they, they ain't tripping on no little baby doll sap look, y'all know me, I don't care nothing for no dolls. I'd be tripping on that baby doll noise. Well only I like yo bro, you can finish this, I'ma go ahead and I'ma leave. Going to explore a little bit longer. And then they will finally pack their things and go. But before they are able to leave, they are given one last scare to go with them. Good. Look at this. Don't don't show me. It must be. Do I have the spray bottle? No, it must be a different room. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab it. What? Oh my God! What the? Holy oh, shit! What was that? Can you tell me on the ovulus? Don't tell me. Holy oh, shit, dude. That camera would have caught that camera would have caught it. Oh yeah. Oh. Unholy. unholy. It said unholy. Are we sure? I gotta hear that again. Holy shit, dude. That camera would have caught that camera would have caught it. Unholy. Unholy. Oh, yeah. It definitely said unholy, so yeah, I might want to get up out of there because whatever did that, whatever closed that door was un 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 unholy I don't deal with unholy I only deal with holy you got to take away that you in for me cuz I can't I'm gonna have to leave right now it said unholy oh man oh man 
I'm going in this room. To me, this seems like a terrifying motel that you wouldn't want to visit. Oh my god. What the? Holy oh, shit. And that was fun. I think I know why that thing said unholy, because he said holy ish. We done made it to the end of the live stream, y'all. We got almost 35 people. 35 people. 3,500 people in here. Thank y'all so much for hanging out with your boy tonight. This was a wild one. I was not expecting to be running like a track star tonight. Oh, I need a, I need a break now. I need a, I need a break. Gosh. I gotta do some shout outs. I gotta do some shout outs real quick. And then we get the heck up out of here. Goodness gracious. Y'all play too much. Play way too much for me. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. What, what, what are we doing here? Okay. Josh. Josh McKee says, when can you expect new merch? The new merch should be coming on um, someday next week. I'm, hopefully, I'll have it up on the website, my brother. I got a bunch of new tank tops coming. Um, these caps. Y'all y'all bought these out so quick. I got some more. One, um, Another restock of these coming in here. Emily says, I'm back. I, uh, I passed my classes for nursing school. Woo! <laughs> Emily, shout out to you. She passed. She passed her classes. Um, I got one of my homegirls actually just got accepted into nursing school. So shout out to you, Emily. Uh, hold on, we got Felicia up in here. Two live streams. Watch you all the time, every day. Thank you, sweetheart. We in here, big baby. Say, hold on, Alexa, turn on lights and see see how many we get. <laughs> Alexa. Turn on lights. <laughs> Shout out to Steve, our moderator, for that one. Tamara, up in here yet again. Keep doing what you're doing. Hey, you know I will, baby. You know I will. Nikki, boo, hope I scared you. You might have. I don't even know. Somebody scared me. What up, Misty? I see you up in here yet again. Michelle. Michelle says, hey, it was worth it. Shout out to you. Thank you so much, Steve. What another one, baby. At 945. Cat. Sending good vibes. Thank you, sweetheart. I'm sending them right back to you. We in here. Uh what's, what was this? Hold on. Oh, this is Ashley M. You know, a long time supporter. She always makes it to the live stream. Have a safe trip to Miami. Let's grab a drink. Yeah. I'm hey. I'm look. I'm about to be busy when I get up out here. Look, who is this? This is Monique. Yet again, always stopping by, dropping the big fat donations. She don't be saying that that she just be like, here you go, hundred dollars for the channel. Thank you, sweetheart. You are the goat of tonight's live stream. Big baby. Uh, Josh had asked me a question. They said I answered it. Oh, yeah, I did answer that a little bit earlier. Christopher Hernandez, just showing love to the channel. Always, always up in here. David Gonzalez, another one. Back with another don't know. Big baby. Yeah, David's always up in here. Another one. Wilfred, always, always making it to the live stream. So I'm in the chat. See him in the donuts. Thank you, brother. Josh, it says, okay, yeah, he asked me again about the merch. Shout out to you, big baby. Shout out to you, big baby. Hold on, was this yesterday or today? Oh, that was yesterday. That was Mike. That was Mike Anderson. Shout out to Mike. But yeah, what y'all talking about? We got another one over here. Matt Smith, another one. Another one from Matt. Jess, my son, Troy. And I are big fans. Give him a shout out, please. Shout out to Troy. You watching us right now, baby? You watching us? Did you have, did you like the show tonight? Who farted? Somebody said they farted. Look, I thought I smelled something through the screen. God, Lee, it coming through my speakers. Got my nose tingling. You stank nasty. One more. Why am I to get another video from? Y'all, ain't we been in here long enough? I try to keep these videos, these live streams to a maximum of an hour and a half. It's always my goal. But I fail every time. We always end up doing two hours. I don't know. Look, I, I, I ain't got another video. Did we do four videos? We did four, right? I gave y'all one more. I did do one more, didn't I? Or maybe I dreamt that one of those times I passed out. Look, let me see where we at. If we got enough likes, I might can do it for you. Y'all know I got, a, I got a bunch of videos added tonight. And then I got to wake up early in the morning and, and get you guys orders together. But I'm about to shout out those orders too. 
just a moment. But I gotta see where we at in the like like department. We got about fourteen hundred likes. You know that's that's not that's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? But we got three thousand people in here, so can I get two thousand likes? Six hundred. I just need six hundred of y'all beautiful people to go ahead and smash that like button for your boy for the YouTube algorithm. Y'all know I don't even ask for donos and that, and I might ask y'all to cost some merch that y'all ask of me. That didn't even sound right. That y'all ask of me. But the most important thing I can ask from you guys is to smash that like button for your boy for the YouTube algorithm. We already done got a hundred more. We done got a hundred more. We in here. This is live. This, this don't this don't operate the same as the regular videos. You don't like it, don't watch it. You don't like it, don't watch it. But I got some shout outs to do. We got some shout outs to do. This thing didn't even refresh. What this look like? 2 a.m. Today, 2 p.m. Hold on, what did, what's going on, chill? Let me see. Something don't even feel right with this. Hold on, let me go. Melissa. Shout out to Miss Melissa. She done cop something on the website. Donald, Donald L. Melissa W. That was. Ashley. Ashley F. Shout out to you. Stephanie A. I see you up in here. Lance. Lance H. I see you up in here. Merlin R. I see you. I'm about to get y'all stuff together. First thing in the morning bright and early i'm getting up extra early for y'all baby i'm getting up extra early and i'm autographing all that stuff for y'all i know i know a bunch of y'all ask me when the new stuff coming when the new stuff coming i know the website looking hella hella dry right now is that what i think it is i got a little split in the screen there we go i cleaned it up a little bit sorry that might have been in the way for y'all i can't seize it i can't seize it which oh hold on. let me see where we at in the light department on this channel what a tab go i don't lost myself there you go. I got dang on six tabs open and, and all six got six. That's just too much. That's way too much. I need to watch these videos or react to them or something. I got too much going on on the YouTube news. Okay, y'all, look, we're at 1,800. That was pretty quick. We need 200 more. 200 more. And then we out the door. My love, I'm a member. And I didn't get a notification last Friday or tonight at all. I love everything you give us. It's the smiles and the laughs that are the best. Thank you, Natalie. And that's a shame. YouTube, what you just got to keep the black man down. Don't you know my viewers want to watch my videos? I got over 900,000 subscribers, dang on it. It's, it should be no reason why I only get, dang on, 3,000 folks in the live stream. You know why? Because y'all ain't sending these folks my live streams. It's not good enough that I tell them it's 9 p.m. every Monday and Friday. It's not even good enough. They need to get their notifications. Y'all pay too much. Y'all need to fix that notification thing. Everybody need to get every notification for every channel that they got the thing, the little bell ringed on. You understand what I'm saying? A Pisces thing. Hit that like. Do what that woman said. Y'all heard her. We trying to get 2,000 likes on this thing right quick. You feel me? Matt. Matt up in here. One more, Mr. Ball. I got, I look. I gave you two Mr. Ballins, three Mr. Ballins yesterday. I don't know if you was here for that, but you might want to go check that out. Then you got two the day before. So that's five Mr. Ballins in the past two days. I'm trying to hold back. You know what I'm saying? He can, he can only do so much, and I can only do so much of his content. I got to make sure I spread it out a little even. So when I get back in town, y'all can get another Mr. Ballin live stream. Best believe. And my channel members, hey, we getting a bunch of y'all, so y'all going to get some content from me too soon. Just for the channel members, best believe. Best believe. Hey, y'all must be tired of hearing me talk because we only need about a hundred more likes for the next video. Big baby. What's your biggest phobia? I hate spiders. I'd rather deal with um, spirits more than spiders. David, that's a real good one. You know, I, I don't know what's my biggest phobia. Wait, I think it's spiders actually. It didn't used to be. I used to love spiders. I didn't have a fear of spiders for nothing in the world. Now, I really don't like the, the, the thought of anything crawling on me. I used to love when stuff crawled on me. But now, the slightest little thing just make my flesh crawl. I don't... So, I think I might be the arachnophobia thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't like spiders no more. And, and, and spirits be making me faint. So, I just don't even know. I don't like heights. I, I, is there a phobia for swimming? Because... I don't have one, but I, I, I can't do it too well either. But, you know, anyway, I need some help. I broke my shoulder, though, so I got to get back in the water and make it stronger and get and get back to the swimming. I used to be able to swim, but I can't swim no more for some reason. I almost drowned that last time I tried. Anyway, what I'm talking about. 
You you crush your toe at work. It's that ghost. I'm trying to tell you. It's the spirit of the ghost, Oscar. You got look. Get make that toe better though. You got to get that. Don't walk in them. You can't walk on it no more. That's what it is. Order the ghost a real tank top last night. Can't wait. Yes, ma'am, Terry. I'm gonna send that thing to you with a quick first thing in the morning. I'm getting them orders together for you, big baby. I don't know where I got that big baby mess from, but it's here. Say my name. Say my name, Monique Bush. I got you. King says. Check out 3X videos. What's the 3X? I'm going to have to check, check out 3 All right, let me let me go over there to 3 times X videos and see what they got going on over there. Hold on right quick. Uh, maybe that's where we're going to find the next video. Oh, you know who I didn't even look for? Um, That dude, Chills. Chills. I ain't got to see what Chills got going on too. But 3X video. Let's see what my man is talking about over Chill right quick, right Chill. Ooh, they do got videos. Ooh, that looks scary. That look, Ooh, what's that? Oh, look, this man done found a whole other channel that I ain't need no nothing about. You feel me? So we got another content creator that we're going to be checking out soon. The 3X is the name. 3X is the game. Hold on. Let me see. Let me go back to us right now real quick. See where we at with our channel and that 2,000 likes that I needed so we can keep the party going. We had dang on 600 other folks in here that done... They just stepped out on us. That ain't even right. They messed up. They'll, they'll be back, though. That's what they do. They're going to be like, you know what? I ain't trying to hear this man do all that talking. I'm just going to come back when enough people don't hit that like button. I'm going to hit it for him, and then I'm going to go away. I got to use the bathroom, and then I'm going to come back because I know he's going to do one more video because he said he was going to do one more video. And look, we got 2,000 likes. Time for me to shut my mouth and get to it. Y'all, it's about to be crazy. I did find another video, though, and it was... My dude, um, chills. Oh, heck no. This video, 30 minutes long. That's too long. That's too long. I didn't even realize. I, I clicked on the wrong video. I clicked on the wrong one. This one's too long, y'all. I, I, it's double the length of every other one that we watched tonight. Let's go. We, we, I don't even know the name of it. Let's watch it. Prepare yourself. These videos are so scary that they live in my head rent-free. Number nine. Okay. What is it about abandoned asylums that draws explorers to them? Is it morbid curiosity, the likelihood of a paranormal encounter? An abandoned asylum? Nah, I done seen this place before, but nah, I don't think I can do those. Nah. Or are there just an abundance of abandoned asylums everywhere? The Proper People is a YouTube vlog series run by urban explorers Brian and Michael. Their adventures eventually brought them to an abandoned asylum in the middle of the night. The video was uploaded to their second channel, Proper People Vlogs, in December 2016. Their drive up to the building is enough to give people chills, okay. as it is something right out of a horror movie. As the two enter the building, something strange can be seen through a doorway and down the hall from them. I'm something white when the flashlight... I I'm not ready, y'all. I could... I can't imagine I'm about to go on a trip somewhere to a state that I've probably never been to just to go to a b abandoned building something specifically like that and like nah I don't nah it is shined down the hall again it is gone it is possible the flashlight illuminated something off a pillar or a wall but it does seem strange it vanished we might have seen this before but it's probably been a long time like a year or two when I started doing these little ghost videos Travis shout out to Travis he over here he know what's up shout out to our moderators for helping us out and hanging out with us. Change my profile pic. Check it out. What are you talking about? One, oh, you talking about this pic right here? I see you, Trisha. Uh, Flowers by Drea. Shout out to you. Thank you for becoming a channel member, baby. Now your name's in green, big baby. After venturing down a floor, a voice can be heard whispering, hey. You know, I don't think this is a basement. Which, that was a guy's voice, too. Hey causes the two to stop one of them believes he heard rustling but could he be mistaking the voice as this they then head towards a stairwell and as they enter a voice can be heard whispering i don't want to all right upstairs followed by someone saying what's this and almost a whimper Neither of the explorers seem to hear these, so it is possible it was just picked up by the camera audio. 
One commenter even claimed to have seen eyes in the woods just outside the stairwell, although we couldn't see anything. If there were, it is likely to be that of an animal since they are deep in the forest. As the two of them look out a window towards a fire escape, they spot someone standing near their car. As they turn off their flashlight, yeah, I do remember this. You can see a faint glow in the distance flickering in and out of view. Soon it goes away, and the two believe it is someone on the property there to confront them. They decide to go back to their car, but find I'd be a homeless person. Find nobody there. The two are convinced someone else is with them, and the light they saw was from a phone screen. However, the person seems to have vanished, and they both question whether or not they should be there with a random stranger also present. That would be crazy if, if let's say, like, you and a friend was out there, and there's somebody else out there, like, one person, like, who the heck in their right mind would be out there? After some contemplation as to what to do, they see the light again and call out to see if anyone was there. At this point, they decide it is not best to take any more risk and leave. They did appear to capture some EVP. Woo! We got some big donations that came in, big baby. Mr. Rodriguez, Brandy. Shoo! Y'all crazy, man. Thank y'all for the support. Thank y'all so freaking much. We got the Black Crown in here that became a channel member. We got Fierce 7. I'm here as always, my guy. What up, LK? I'm doing pretty good, man. Thank y'all for hanging out with us tonight. We having a good time in here, man. This might go down as a legendary live screen. And possibly an apparition during their visit, but the mysterious person watching them certainly is the scariest. Was it another explorer who got spooked and decided to remain out of sight? Or was it someone with malicious intent? Thankfully, the duo decided not to find out. Number eight. Brooklyn Marie is a content creator on TikTok. Hold on, I gotta just um, uh, say something about that because that does make sense though. Like, what if it was another explorer out there and they might have got spooked by the explorers that was in the inside? You know, sometimes you gotta think of stuff like that. It could be double people just exploring and maybe one person scares the other person. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this whole spooky, scary video, ghost hunt adventure thing is becoming so so much more apparent to people that a lot of people are going out and finding different locations around their city, their town, their state, their country, and people are exploring more often. So they might be two people in a building or two groups of people and one might try to scare the other one out of there or something, you know? For posting funny and scary stories, her most popular videos are related to her exploration of abandoned properties. The places are often left in very bad condition with mold, damage to the walls, etc. So you telling me we got a female that's doing this by herself? She crazy! At times, she has encountered rather terrifying events. In her most watched video, she finds a hidden basement in one home and decides to open it. As soon as she lifts the latch up, a bucket flies across the bottom step. Does she it? freaks and the door slams shut. What's wrong with the little basement? It's weird. Oh, in the follow-up, she gathers the courage to venture down into the... At first, I thought that was uh, an orb that flew by because it went so fast, but that was a freaking bucket. And she crazy. She went down there. Debs. All she finds is trash and dust everywhere, Not as me. well as the bucket that was thrown earlier. Nobody is inside, and she appears to be completely alone. Unfortunately, any orbs seen in the video have to be discredited as dust since the basement is extremely dirty. However, she does appear to capture some orbs in the third video. Hey, I love that name, Successful Minds. That's what it's about, baby. That's what it's about. Shout out to you for becoming a channel member and thank you for the kind words. I appreciate you so much. Hey, it's always legendary with you, homie. Fierce Seven, thank you so much. I appreciate that. She doesn't say it's the same home, so we will assume it's a different property. This time she ventures upstairs and right away an orb can be seen flying in the camera. I saw it right there. the dust particles earlier, right these orbs appear to have somewhat intelligent behavior, staying motionless before flying away. They also appear to be a mist of some sort. This man just called an orb intelligent because it flew away. Okay, that's what we're doing now. Okay. Okay. The trails behind them. Tell us what you think. The strange occurrences are not exclusive to the home she investigates. In a couple videos, she shows strange manifestations appearing on her mom's ring camera. 
in the first video. It's to the far left and looks like a person standing. If you look closely, you can see what looks like arms, a body, and a head with long hair. Suddenly, it starts warping into strange shapes, as if it is about to fly away, but instead comes right back. The camera picked up motion near the door, aside from a car driving by, which is too far to set off the motion detector anyway. Nothing else is nearby. Furthermore, there was another incident with the ring camera later on. First, two identical orbs fly along the top left corner of the camera, leaving... Man... I still ain't got my ring doorbell installed yet. It's been months. You know why? Because my friends. I've been trying to hang out with certain friends of mine. They don't want to act right. Weird trails behind them. You're supposed to come help me install my doorbell. And moving in unison with each other. I'm calling you out, Zach. I'm calling you out, John. There. She then shows earlier a similar entity appeared above their cars as the two of them were going inside. It makes a hard turn and then vanishes. It seems Brooklyn has a variety of different pieces to show and will continue to for some time. We will keep an eye on her content and hope something really compelling happens again. Number 7. Imagine being all alone in the middle of the ocean, only to discover you're not actually alone. Fishing Doctor's Adventures is a channel dedicated to fishing. Channel owner Brandon was out in the ocean, kayak fishing when his GoPro spotted something peek out of the water. As Brandon turns to its direction, it ducks back down and disappears. It's definitely hard to tell what it- Yo, did he see something, like, out of his peripherals? Oh. <sighs> It's getting late, yawning. Did he see something, or is there somebody else on that boat with him? It is exactly, but it does have the distinguishing feature of a round head. Considering how massive the ocean is, it could be a number of things. Brandon doesn't specifically state or claim it is a legendary sea monster, but is at a loss for what it could be. We must give him an applause for being a mile out from shore. Nah, he's out there by himself. That's crazy that he noticed something, though. With those weird glasses on that look like it might be blocking the side of his vision, the side of his, the side of his sight, he did notice something. That's crazy. Because he's definitely looking out there like something's out there. I wouldn't be out there on that little thing. I need a big boat. Or not being freaked out. The dark water surrounding him makes it impossible. Man, I don't see nothing for miles. I don't see no land. He is a fool. I would not be out there on that little thing. Anything could tilt you over now you in that water. I hope you can swim because Nope, not me. Able to see anything below and there's no land to be seen. It really helps us understand how sailors out on the open ocean for months, often years at a time without touching land, would start seeing things beneath the waves. Furthermore, the ones who never returned certainly sparked the imagination of people back home, wondering what befell their comrades. That's another thing too. All the stories I've heard of people be stranded out at sea and they end up freaking like be out there for months. I'm like, yo, I wouldn't have survived that. I'm a survivor. In this case, it seems the explanation is much more simple. From the features that can be seen on the curious animal, it is most likely to be a seal. Big Sur Coast was where Brandon was filming and the area is home to a variety of seal species. It could have been a seal. It didn't look like a dolphin. I saw a dolphin yesterday at the aquarium. Poor dolphins. I, right? They'd be working the heck out of them dang old things. Famously the elephant seal. In fact, the vast amount of ocean wildlife in the area is the reason the famous Monterey Bay Aquarium was built. How you say her name? Tanette? Thank you for the $20 donation to help educate people and to conduct research on various sea life living in or passing through the area. The creature had a rounded out top, much like a seal does, and behaved in a curious manner as seals tend to be. While it is certain to cause some nerves to go when briefly seeing one, and not knowing what it is, it doesn't seem to frighten Brandon too much. While he didn't know exactly, he probably had an idea of what he saw. The ocean is a massive, beautiful, and intimidating place. Let's hope nothing sinister lives beneath the surface. Number 6. TFIL is a YouTube channel dedicated to an assortment of different videos.
In June 2019, the group stayed overnight in an abandoned hospital, committed to not leaving until the next morning. Yorktown Memorial Hospital had over 2,000 people pass away there during its operation. Yo, Shorty is mad cute, bro. Shorty is mad cute, though. Five stories and 30,000 square feet means they were in for a long night. Understandably, the group takes their time before going inside as they are terrified, but eventually they make their way inside in what appears to be a chapel. One of the camera operators, Evan, captures a white mist manifest on his full-spectrum camera. After this, the group experiences various different events, from strange noises to interference with the cameras. Like that digital interference. Where, where, where? Right in front of us. Where? Wait, 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 I heard, I heard it again. Wait, 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 I heard, I heard it again. Is it up there? No, it's literally right in front of us. Scared of having the all-spectrum camera permanently cease the bugging. They decide to leave the area. After coming across a room filled with random junk and taped off, what looks like a shadow figure can be seen peering out from some junk in the far corner. The shadow itself is a lot darker than the shadows cast by other objects in the room. So could this be a spirit observing the group from a distance? The team experiences a few jump scares and believe they see apparitions. Oh, what? But unfortunately, nothing is captured on camera for a while. As they begin ascending the stairs higher, though, they get a real fright. Hey, you got your shirts. That's what's up. Shout out to you, Fierce. Glad you liked them. While debating whether or not to open some metal doors, a loud bang can be heard from the floor below them. I really, 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 really... <laughs> Whoa! While investigating and debating going down, the full spectrum loses focus. All right, I remember this part now. Focus and several clear orbs fly in front of it. Eventually, when they go back to- I didn't see none of that other stuff. Down, they find themselves on the balcony of the chapel. Y'all, we got 3,100 people back up in here. Big baby. Where they were getting some major activity before. This seems to be too much of a coincidence. While in the nurse's living quarters, allegedly the most haunted part of the building, Evan is surprised to find his phone has called team member Jay and has been recording a voicemail for two minutes. He hasn't taken his phone out at all during the investigation, but pocket dials are certainly a common issue. However, when they eventually listen back to the voicemail, they hear a very deep, almost demonic voice. <laughs> One commenter says it sounded like, can somebody come and help us? Further into the hospital's depths, the group decides to leave. Andrea and Ah, uh, I definitely remember this part now. Watch this. Evan in the doll room, where Andrea will read from a book they found, and Evan will film her. As she is reading, the doll directly below her suddenly turns to face her. Soon after, the group becomes convinced another person is in the building and goes to try and find them. While searching, one of the cameras looks behind them and one can briefly see a shadow figure standing in the hall. The light from the flashlight doesn't seem to pierce through it and it is seen only briefly before they move on. The team eventually decides to brave the basement when Corey feels pain on his back. On inspection, there are scratch marks all over his upper back Whoa! resembling fingernails. Corey never bumped into anything during his time there. Clearly freaked out, the group decides to call it a night and make a quick exit. On closer inspection of his back, Corey has several large scratch marks all over. It's probably good they left the location, because who knows what else could have happened. Number 5. Franco TV is a YouTube channel dedicated to... Shout out to Franco TV, but nah, real quick, y'all. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Some people so dedicated to their craft and content, they will cap something like, yo, just, hey, hey, girl, hey, girl, you got some long nails. Scratch me up right quick. She's like, ooh, you gonna let me scratch you? I don't want to. I don't want to hurt you. Deep down, she, 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 that's a, she, she'll get off. She, she that's a fetish. She want to scratch somebody. <laughs> ah, I'm capping. To, you guessed it, Paranormal Investigation. Franco has done urban explorations at some truly scary locations. In April 2021, he ventured to the Awani Hotel, 
a famous haunt and the location where the interiors for The Shining were filmed. Oh, you can go there? Interesting. Shout out to Clarissa says, so grateful to be a channel member now. I watch you every day. You're my favorite YouTuber by far. Keep speaking your truth. A-OK -okay Mafia. Shout out to you, baby girl. Thank you so much for the support. We in here. The hotel itself is beautiful, but does have legends surrounding it. Native American artifacts are on display around the hotel, which have been claimed to be part of the reason behind the hauntings. After spending some time exploring where the most famous scenes were filmed, Franco makes his way to the second floor where the colonial room and the trade center room are located, both meeting rooms to rent out. After finding the colonial room locked, he turns around to find the lights to the tray cider room on. As he approaches to investigate, they turn off again. It can't be caused by a motion sensor as Franco moved by it earlier without triggering anything. As they continue to turn on and off as he approaches, before staying on as he reaches the room, nobody else is inside the room and the hotel is practically empty as most guests are sleeping. He decides to try and come back later to do a spirit box session, and as he leaves, the lights again turn off. Franco then discusses a story of how there is a spirit of a Native American man who haunts the hotel and the surrounding area, and is believed to be the main reason behind the haunting of the hotel. Eventually, Franco takes the elevator to the second floor, finding it almost pitch black except for his flashlight. He takes out an EMF detector and starts asking questions. Almost immediately, it starts flashing with life, going between a reading of two and four. Is there anybody here with me? It sounds like I'm knocking. closer he ventures to the end of the hall, where the only other light is coming from, the EMF flashes more and more. He also says he hears a knocking noise coming from that direction, but it is hard to hear. Franco heads back down to the tray cider room to perform a spirit box session. After asking for a name, Franco hears what sounds like a woman asking, who is this? After asking if whoever is in there with him is making the noises outside the room, a very clear voice responds, Get out. out. Followed by careful. careful. Could these be two different spirits with opposing intent? Yo, this spirit box looks dope. It looks so old school. It looks legit. Intentions. After asking how many are with him, another voice fits. That's a collector's item. I would collect this. Very clearly states five. On five. Three intelligent responses is pretty good, but it continues. Are you within the building or is he within the building? Wandering the halls. <laughs> he asks if the ghost of the original owner is still there. A voice says yes. When he tries to ask if the owner Stanley is there, it's hard to make out what is being said. Stanley, are you here? <laughs> However, Franco says he loves the hotel. A voice comes through saying good. I love your hotel, Stanley. After this, he decides to end the session, wishing the spirits good night. After a woman comes through saying good night, with what sounds like three others wishing a good night in different ways. Oh, I give you goosebumps. Who could these other spirits of the hotel be? Hopefully, someone can shed some light on who is still there and why. Number four. Heck nah, that's crazy. Not all ghosts are unfriendly. In fact, most seem to leave us alone, wish no harm to us, and are often just... Are you telling me this ghost is over here trying to get some exercise and this ghost is doing better than me? This ghost is doing better than me. Is scared about their situation. There have been stories of ghosts being funny, entertaining, or just minding their own business. It appears this was what happened to the channel Technical Baba in April 2021. In the short video posted to YouTube, two people were surprised by their exercise bike pedals moving on their own. 
The video starts rather suddenly, which could be because they scrambled to get their camera to film. The pedals move for a good few seconds before they start to slow down and look on the verge of stopping. Then the camera cuts to a new shot and the pedals are moving rapidly again until the video ends. The video itself doesn't have a lot of views. Three at the time our video was posted. Also, the description doesn't provide any information. The other videos posted on the channel are random and don't relate to the recent one posted. It's hard to say if they have experienced any activity before, but it is my opinion the video has been staged. The bike's momentum at the beginning is slowing down more and more, and then suddenly the camera cuts to a shot of it moving much faster. Yeah, that's called a jump cut. They probably pre-pedaled those pedals to make it do that. Well, this is just speculation. It would seem they stopped filming, started moving the pedals, and then recorded them moving on their own momentum. Exercise bikes, particularly older ones, are known to do this. If yeah, someone gives, I was gonna say the same thing. Older exercise bikes, you could you could pull that off with. I'm a good crank. They can move for some time, yeah. around thirty seconds to a minute, if it's good enough. Yeah. This is just an example of videos to watch out for. Because the way the um, bike is like a chain that goes to the front wheel, and the way the feel the front wheel has resistance to it, like you can do a few pedals, and then the front wheel would just catch that and just go. On one hand, they show we need to go into such examples with an open mind. We are allowed to believe in the paranormal, but also remember not everything we see is evidence. On the other hand, skeptics should remember just one video like this doesn't disprove the many more examples of paranormal footage out there. Number 3. Loi Lane is a YouTuber and self-described as paranormal obsessed. In October 2018, just in time for the scary season, she and her friend London decided to investigate one of the most notorious hauntings in the United States. The RMS Queen Mary was once the pride of the Cunard White Star Line, providing luxury passage across the Atlantic. It operated from 1936 until its retirement in 1967. Since then, it has been in the ownership of the city of Long Beach in California, operating as a floating hotel. Despite being considered a top-class vessel, the Queen Mary has a dark side to it. During its time in operation, the ship logged 47 passings on board. Most were the result of natural causes, however there have been some scary passings as well, such as a man who had his life taken under a mechanical door. Of all the rooms in the hotel, stateroom B340 is by far the most notorious. According to legend, during one of the ship's final voyages, a man took the lives of two women on the ship before he was apprehended and locked in the room. A guard was posted outside and heard the man screaming, claiming someone was in there trying to take his life. The guard ignored him and only opened the door when NYPD arrived to take the man into custody. When they opened the door, they supposedly found the man ripped apart. Three of the staterooms were eventually converted into one, which became known as B340. In the 1980s, the hotel closed the room due to guests leaving in the middle of the night. It only reopened for booking in April 2018, although the hotel removed the markings from the door, as curious guests would wait outside the room all night hoping something would happen. Loey and London were able to reserve the room for the night, and quickly things got interesting. For starters, the room came with a briefcase containing tarot cards, a fake candle, a glass ball, and a weed. I thought that was a silicone, like, Ouija board. To further prove the hotel staff are well aware of the room's reputation. I want to go here. I want to go on a bandit ship. I mean, a bandit ship? A hunted ship. There are instructions posted in the bathroom on how to play the game bloody. Woo, fish been here for a minute. We about to break that million subs soon, baby. You already know. That's why we doing these live streams and stuff. Get us there quicker. Mary, right after the discovery, Loey and London hear a sound behind them. Don't resembling do a doorknob operating. Oh, oh, no. Nah. She about scared the mess out of me. I couldn't. Nah, we can't even be friends, lady. You scary looking. Sorry. Nah, I'm just playing. She hella cute. But um, we've been in here too long, y'all. We don't supposed to be going past this two-hour mark. This I got stuff to do. What time? It's almost 12 midnight. I got, man. 
Whew, I got a lot to do. No, it can't already be happening. Did you tell me you heard that? Nobody else is in the room with them, and it would not be possible for them to hide a third unseen person. That's the only way out from where the noise came from is down the hallway they are standing in. Continuing the tour, the two note how there are encounter stories on the walls of the room. There's certainly something eerie about having to not only sleep in a haunted room, but also surrounded by stories from previous guests. As Louis is reading another story out, both her and London hear a noise that is unfortunately not picked up on the camera's audio. When I turn to see if it was one of my fam- So her face? Yeah, what was it? What is heard, however, is a breathing sound as if someone is sighing directly into the camera's microphone. The original noise they heard came from a door they showed earlier, one which doesn't function anymore. As London is telling the story of the legend, a knocking sound comes from behind them. Boat docked and like his entire body was just like ripped apart limb by limb and then each limb was placed in me. It sounds either like a knock at the door. Yo, I'm trying to think about that. So the guy that ended the two girls or the two women's lives, they supposedly locked him into a room until the authorities came. And I guess he was in there yelling and screaming. And he wouldn't open the door until the authorities arrived. And when they opened the door, they saw that he was actually ripped from limb to limb. So maybe his spirit was the one that was in there making noises or whatnot. But what trips me out is like who ripped him from limb to limb? Was it like people that were family members to the girls or the women that got, you know, you know, killed or whatever. So they ripped him from limb to limb. Or as if someone is trying to open the door. When London goes to investigate by looking through the people, the knocks happen again. No, I don't like this. I actually like, no. Is I... there someone out there? No, okay, actually no. Where did that come from? While well, Louis is unsure where the knocks came from, believing it was in the closet, it sounds more like the knocks came from the room's entrance. By now, both women are freaked out. They acknowledge there are others nearby and even a party of some sort. But the room. Huh, Wendy said, Nah, it's all good. It's just room, um, room service. Nah, that ain't no room service. It's located down a long hall, somewhat isolated. Furthermore, when London opens the door to investigate, they hear someone talking, but it's clearly from further down, too far away to have caused the mischief. This is only half of the first video they made about the Queen Mary, and already things are getting good. Check out the remainder for yourself, and if you want me to continue analyzing Louis and Lennon's investigation, let me know in the comments. Number 2. Archivo Extincto is a Mexican-based channel. De I was, I'm glad they're showing somebody Mexican now because I was just thinking about how so many Mexicans that I know of, especially women, or just Spanish women in general, are like so iffy when it comes to the paranormal. like. They don't want anything to do with it. Some of my Spanish female friends, I can't even get them to model the ghost merchandise for me because they feel a certain type of way about spirits and entity and they don't want to show any disrespect and they don't want it to, you know, come into their life or anything like that. So I always find it super, super fascinating when Spanish people are, are willing to go that extra mile and create content like this. Dedicated to paranormal investigation, in August 2020, the channel decided to explore an old- I'm pretty sure we've seen this before. Cemetery, but unlike other cemeteries around, this one has a large number of those who passed away far too young. As the duo makes their way up the steps to the main section, they pause after hearing sounds around them. While well, not picked up by the camera audio, or at least too faint to hear, Something has clearly scared them. Let me know if you hear something. Estar en un panteón. Appreciate you, Daniel, y'all. We got 3,200 people live here. Back at it like a... Tonette. I think that's how you say your name. Thank you, sweetheart, again. Oi. ¿Qué es eso, güey? 
It should be noted they are outside, so it's possible it was simply an animal running around, since animals can be heard in other parts of the video. As they continue to explore, the sad reality of where they are begins to set in. One grave has toy cars left on it. See, that's one thing I probably wouldn't even think too much about. I'd be so freaked out over the fact that it might be paranormal um, entities or spirits around me if I'm going on some type of adventure at night at outside that I would completely disregard the fact that animals are, live outside. You know what I'm saying? A reminder of the people who are buried here. That's it's a Mustang. It's hard to feel something at this moment. Thinking of the anguish the families must still feel at the loss of a child. But it is also heartwarming to see people leave objects of fun and joy for the spirits to use. Not long after the discovery, the two hear a sound and start asking questions. They receive a reply of what sounds to be a whimper or possibly a giggle from behind them. <laughs> After it becomes almost completely silent, certainly sending chills down their backs. The sound doesn't resemble any of the bird or insect noises heard earlier, and the fact those sounds seemingly stop immediately after is both puzzling and spine tingling. Fierce. After taking a few minutes to compose themselves, the two carry on. Things stay quiet for some time until the cameraman hears a similar sound from before, this time right behind him. Incluso en donde él duerme, nos comentaba que le han bajado. ¿Qué pasó? No sé. ¿Se escuchó? Sí. However, it sounds more like an owl or possibly a pigeon this time. Even so, we can't blame them for getting scared. As they are looking out towards the top of... Yo, wait a minute. These look dope. As they are looking up... They look like little, little housey thingies. They look really cool. Now towards the top of the cemetery, one of them spots what he believes is the flicker of a lamp. Sadly, it was not seen on camera, but the two decide to investigate the area. After some time without anything, they ask questions again in what sounds like either feet shuffling or hitting the ground after hopping from an elevated place echoes from directly behind the camera. No seas mamón, wey. Interestingly enough, from the latter theory, there is a drop right behind the camera. The two believe it sounded like feet rapidly rushing on the stone paths from below, but nobody else is around and anybody would have. That is exactly what it sounded like. Spotted when they turned around to look. Spurred by the sounds, they decide to do a spirit box session. Almost immediately after saying hello, a voice responds, returning the greeting. Hola. Hola. Como te llamas? After asking for a name, they receive the response, Kevin. ¿Quién eres? ¿Quién eres? Kevin? This causes Kevin? excitement from the duo, and they continue asking questions. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? As they move, did he ask him his age? And his answer was loose. To a different location, another voice comes through, seemingly identifying itself as loose. The voice sounds different from the Kevin who came on before. Sadly, it seems they had no further responses as the video cuts away. Later in the investigation, they get their clearest response to the human ear. After asking another question, what sounds like a child responds from behind, jump scaring the cameraman. Dime qué es lo que quieres, niño. Vete a la chingada. The response is very clear and very close, and they believe it said Hugamos, meaning let's play. As they are wrapping up and returning to their car, I don't want to play with you, fool. They capture the scariest moment of the whole night. Standing behind them is an apparition with clear physical features, two arms, two legs, a body, and a head. Chingada. Neither of them saw it at the time, but it is amazing they managed to document something so clear. 
from the looks of it. It appears to be an adult due to its stature. That thing, this be that thing was black. Be Kevin or Luce from earlier or something completely different. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five seconds because I upload four new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my in- Hold on y'all real quick. I want to knock out these uh, shout outs right quick. Shout out to Raymond. Raymond says, great channel. Thanks for always making me smile. Kelly, always up in here. I see you in the chat too, going crazy, woman. Cameron, love your work, bro. Is that Zach uh, Bogan, Demon House? Yeah, man, I already know. I already know. Shout out to Cameron. Number one, imagine yourself diving in a lake where trees grow, but backwards. In Kainadi Lake in Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, the apparent foliage of these trees are long and dark green, almost looking like Cthulhu's tentacles. However, if someone were to tell us these trees use the long vines to capture prey, we would have probably believed them. It doesn't help that the video shown here uses creepy sci-fi music to accompany it. This is also sure to be a thalassophobe's nightmare since such imagery is enough to give anyone chill yo they got trees growing under the ocean kainadi lake is located in the tian shan mountains a heavily forested area in kazakhstan the lake has become a popular place for diving in the country due to the trees in it. However, and thankfully so, the reason for them being there and looking like they are has a much easier and harmless explanation. In 1911, a quake created a natural dam, allowing the area to flood with decades worth of rainwater and creating the lake we know today. The area is literally part of a sunken forest, the trees having stood there since long before the earthquake occurred and are now petrified as a result of the water. More amazing is many of them still have the needles they grew over a hundred years ago thanks to the cooler temperature at the altitude. As for the long cosmic horror-like branches, these are natural algae growing off the branches. The space below is what allows them to grow to such great lengths. Overall, these trees are beautiful, with the crystal clear lake allowing light to penetrate deep down, providing an amazing blue light to accompany the dark green plant life. It is yet another reminder of how much natural beauty there is in our world, often unknown to a majority of people. One can't help but wonder what other similar physical features out there the world has to offer, something intimidating yet equally as beautiful. Uh that is too cool, man. That was too dope. Y'all, we've made it to the end of the live stream. Yo, bro, is Junad from oh, from the UK. Love you, man. Thank you, brother. I appreciate you so much. Susan, welcome. New channel member. We're in here. Y'all, I'm about to get up out of here. Uh, Nick, shout out to you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate the don't know. But yeah, I'm about to get up out of here, y'all. I got a lot of work to do. I got to get up early in the morning and do a lot more work. But y'all, if you like this reaction, this live stream, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for more. As always, the link to everything that we watched tonight will be down in the description box below. If you haven't already, make sure you follow your boy on this face. Make sure you follow your boy on the gram and Twitter at Artie Kicks. Franco TV. What up, brother? To the next one. I'm about to see y'all in two more days. We'll be back Monday. Two, three days. What was today? Yeah, two days because it's Saturday now for me. Wait, not yet. Almost. See you. Who did that? What was that? How it come and go like that? Who was that? Christopher. Be safe out there. Thank you, brother. Take it easy. My God. Is that Hernandez? Yep, that's Christopher Hernandez.